Eyewitness News Nightbeat starts now. Fisher's police may have put a dent in a nationwide crime gang allegedly targeting cars and business parking lots all around town. The Felony Lane Gang watches for people to get out of their car, leaving their purse or wallet behind, and that's when gang members move in. Eyewitness News reporter David McAnally on the four people allegedly working that plan here and the hundreds more are still on the loose around the country. After somebody got into an unlocked car and stole valuables, Fisher's police were able to put surveillance 24 hours on four suspects and it paid off. An unlocked car door outside this Fisher school led police to unlock a crime gang's identity. Hope they put them away for a while. That's terrifying. I mean, I run in and out all the time to work and I often leave my car unlocked or windows down. But this is why we shouldn't do that. Fisher's police arrested four suspects after a series of illegal car entries just like this one. These three are allegedly part of a criminal gang out of Florida that travels the U.S. stealing checks and credit cards from unlocked cars. The fourth is a juvenile. We don't have that picture. Thanks to video surveillance, police were able to track the suspects from the Goddard School parking lot theft on 116th Street to Indianapolis, where the suspects allegedly tried to pass a fraudulent check at several banks. That's when police moved in and arrested them. They call them the felony lane gang because when they go to the banks with their stolen checks and their stolen debit cards, they usually go into the very last lane there, less likely to be seen, they hope, the felony lane. All four are from Florida. Police think they're responsible for multiple metro area car break-ins. The gang is known around the country. Recently in North Carolina... They've now grown to a group of close to 600 people. They wait for someone to get out of their car without any personal belongings. Then they break in and head to the bank. It's a felony lane gang. I mean, they're, they're just out of control. Back in Fishers... All these hardworking people and, you know, we've got people like this, the low-life people coming in and, and uh, you know, just spoils it for everybody. Yeah, I've heard about it. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely glad that they're caught. I mean, I don't want anything taken from my car. I mean, this is supposed to be a good area and everything, so it's nice that that's no longer happening. I never leave my car unlocked. I always lock it. I'm pretty careful. I never leave my house unlocked either. Police say leaving the doors like this is just an invitation to thieves. Back to you, John.